Scorpio, welcome to your March reading. Okay, so for someone here, I do feel like someone is needing to rest, okay? So if that is you, I feel like Spirit is really wanting you to rest here as we have Six of Cups with the healing card. And anything that has to do with self-care. So there may be a, a, a feeling of needing more rest or self-care, our time here too, okay? Because there's a bit of resistance and I feel like you're being guided to something really big in your life. Um, as it, oh, we have decisions here. We have the hair fit, we have the moon. So when it comes to the unknown, there may be a sense of uncertainty about a certain situation. And spirit is saying you are a spiritual teacher. You have this in the bag, okay? You are literally very wise. You're a very uh, spiritual individual, super intelligent. You're beautiful inside and out, okay? So when it comes to the unknown, there's a sense of feeling a little uneasy about something, okay? But this is a really big time to rest because what I'm seeing here is that there's a, a sense of you making big choices for yourself or doing a lot of things at once, okay? Um, are feeling pulled in many directions in some way. But again, take what resonates. I felt like that that was a message for some of you guys. Now we do have the Six of Pentacles energy with the Six of Swords coming in. Okay, I'll fix this in a little bit. All right, we do have the Nine of Swords in the challenge. Exactly, so there's something here that's on the mind. There can maybe anxiety, worry, fear in some way. And somebody here, whoever you're dealing with, we have the seven of cups of uh, swords energy in their mind okay on what they're thinking and when we have the seven of swords usually what i'm seeing here is that somebody here may be um you know not having the best intentions or you may be feeling like somebody is hiding something from you or not fully telling you the full truth about something so spirit i feel is really trying to connect with you because you're highly spiritual here you may even be a tarot reader yourself but are a um spiritual teacher or spiritual worker in some way okay so let's go ahead and clarify because i am seeing the judgment and judgment is all about a judgment call. And this is for a long, long term, okay? So there's like a rebirth or an awakening that is happening and there is something here that is creating this personal transformation within you. Now, let's go ahead and get the Six of Pentacles energy. All right, equal give and take here in your energy. You're pretty balanced. There may be something here that feels like very focused and determined to go towards from what I'm seeing in your energy. Okay. We also have the six of swords. Again, this is like double clarifications, six of swords and this person's energy, six of pentacles. So, huh, the six of swords is someone is feeling stuck. They're feeling stuck. They're feeling alone, isolated, withdrawn. Now, when you have the Six of Swords in the reverse, there could be a sense of somebody um, who feels a bit defeated or resistance to change. I'm feeling a lot of resistance from this energy here, okay? And there feels like there's not enough, it's like conversation either stopped or there's a stuck feeling or cloudy judgment. It's always like something with the Ace of Swords just needing more clarity. Something is not clear in this situation, but you're feeling something and it feels out of balance. Somebody may not be admitting the truth to you about something. There could be hidden things with the Seven of Swords, which we're going to go ahead and clarify too. And Justice in Reverse could feel something that's very unfair. Okay, very unfair. Yeah, and then the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy is coming through the reading. And when you have the King of Pentacles in the reverse, this is someone who is very unstable and unclear and can give you very mixed signals. So usually this is a very loyal lover, hardworking, security, committal, but it's now feeling a little bit opposite of this right now, okay? Page of Pentacles, it looks like either a message was sent or something about 
I don't know, something just feels very heavy here. Maybe a situation that had to do with family. Ten of Pentacles. The past. The hairpin is in the reverse. We have to get more into that past. Let's see what's going on. Could be married to the person for some. Okay. The Queen of Swords is coming up as cut off energy. What I'm seeing here is that there is a lot of intimidation. Uh, this person knows they cannot lie to you because you're very uh, intuitive. You sense things. So it feels like with you, how they're thinking is that they cannot be deceitful. You'll see right through them, okay? You may have shown them or told them something to why they're thinking about like why it's hard to confess something to you or to tell you something here. And in their actions, they're showing a lot of resistance once again with that death and rebirth. So what this is telling me is that someone is having a hard time changing their ways, maybe going back to past mistakes or showing you patterns in, in something because I'm seeing that there's a sense of just feeling this person is, is feeling unsatisfied, but also there's no change coming in from them in some way. For others of you, I do feel like somebody said that something ended with maybe like a third party, but it didn't. Six of Cups, and that's what I'm, I'm also seeing. Again, to take what resonates. There's a lot of self-doubt about ending something or telling you something here. Someone still has hope for the for this connection. Huh. When you see the Six of Cups though coming through, somebody is very much triggered by a memory or feeling like they're carrying guilt around, okay? Because there may be something that, about a past relationship in some way, but there's something too about wanting to reconnect with that judgment card and the Six of Cups. Yeah, it looks like somebody here wants to come in, but they know that if they come into your life, they need to be honest because it does show that somebody wants a second chance and wants something to work. So there may be a feeling of a wish fulfillment coming in that feels like a wish fulfillment to somebody here as we have the star. And there are blessings that come with the star. So there are some boundaries being set with somebody here, but there's also a judgment call because it looks like somebody here wants to come into your energy and they're very stuck, but there's not enough clarity to move forward. Maybe in the past, this person left and now they want to come back. Okay, and maybe this is a marriage for some of you guys, but I am seeing with the star, there's a lot of healing coming through with that star energy, okay? And then and the outcome is showing judgment in the three of pentacles, which is making a choice. Do we work on this? Can we build something together? Can we start from scratch? Can you know we work as a good team? Okay, so that's what I'm seeing in the outcome is, possibly somebody coming in, they're not over you, they don't want things to end, but when it comes to the Seven of Swords, they know they have to come in right, or they're, or you'll see through it, okay? So I am seeing that for you guys. Um, but let's go ahead and see what the hidden truths are with this person, or the situation. I know I messed up everything. Okay. I know that I crossed the line with you. Wow, this person is definitely feeling guilty. See, that's what I'm seeing with this Queen of Swords. You said something. You 
you like it just feels like you stood your ground you spoke your truth or you're just like don't even come at me right now with the cheat leading the lying or try to fool me it's not gonna work so it feels like this person is now really thinking heavily about this situation for sure as to why i feel like there is a little bit of intimidation coming from when they approach you in some way it was my fault but i blamed you and that's where the justice is coming in in the reverse too where that links to the justice because it's showing that somebody is not wanting to take accountability of something and may have blamed you even though they're coming in with the seven of swords they weren't truthful and then it says i love you un unconditionally so i feel like whatever this may be it does show that there is something that's coming from the dark that anything that was hidden is coming to light because that's what the moon represents so it looks like there is you know something here that is being revealed and there's a choice okay let's go ahead and get a spirit message for you guys now is the time to make your mark in the world you decide what feels right to you exactly so i feel like there's always like deeper meaning to these messages okay embody your leadership power and create your world out of your deepest desires i feel like here what this message is saying is yes is what it's saying but also is that do what feels right to you not anyone else go within you know the connection you know what you want and don't want and <clears throat> if you are and everybody's situation is going to be different. So it's just like, fill your way through this. And you decide on what you want, regardless of what anybody thinks. Because this is this is your decision here. Okay? And from what I'm seeing here is that you're very spiritual and you're very knowledge. And you're very honest with yourself and others. Okay? And Spirit is saying, it's coming. Hope is on the horizon here. In the face of challenges, remember that nothing lasts forever. Trust that the universe has good things in store for you. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you, Scorpio. I hope this message helped. I hope it brought clarity to you. And if it did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.